Okay. Roger, if you can just give me a summary of what you felt were the most important aspects of project failures. Um, as you discussed. Well, the first thing was the discovery that a huge amount of project failures appear to occur in IT. And when we look on Google, we find that why is it you Google project failure and it's only IT projects that come out. But also that large IT systems impinge upon all of us. You know, we're citizens of the world and we get used to IT everywhere. When a big project fails, it impinges on all of us. And there's a massive power for civil unrest when a big system fails. So we can see this all the time throughout the world. Big system fails and maybe we should go back to the to the Stone Age and start from here again. It, it just seems like in most cases the people that end up suffering the most is the end users and they are the ones that end up reporting the fact that it's failed. And it, it doesn't get detected early enough. Is that yes. true? Yes. Look, one of the issues there is to bring them in at the earliest possible stage. No matter even if they're far removed from the project, if they're a stakeholder, bring them in. It's very important to identify who the stakeholders are. It's not just the developers. Sometimes the developers live in their own world. They don't see the outside world. They don't see those people. They don't even know what a customer looks like. If you bring them in, you suddenly learn things that you never saw before. Bring in focus groups, peer groups. Get them to talk about things and learn from that. Do a qualitative analysis of what those needs are. The programmers will learn something they never thought about before. Maybe just moving a button from one place to another on the form changes the world for them. Sometimes it can be as simple as that. But most of the cases, it's much more serious. Okay, so can you, can you give me a final comment on maybe the importance of introducing project management into a computer science or IT curriculum? Yeah, I would say to me it's becoming a fundamental discipline. Not just IT, every single discipline where you're involved in enacting something, building a product, you've got to have that in place. You've got to have some knowledge of basic, basic project management, which is really how to deliver a product out of some needs that are identified at the end and know that that product meets the requirements that you put down. It meets effectively what we call a business plan. And really that should be a fundamental part. Even if it's just five lectures, ten lectures within the curriculum, we introduce people to it. Quite rightly, it probably doesn't fall in with the computer science curriculum, but certainly under software engineering it should form a fundamental part.